Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Zan Barksdale with Catching 101, and today I want to share a quick tip with you that's going to help you improve your receiving through the use of video analysis. If you've been watching a lot of people on Twitter or Facebook or Instagram, anywhere on social media, people who evaluate and help coach receivers are doing something that you see at the big league level. Anytime you watch a major league game on TV right now, you see a gray box over the strike zone. It's called the K zone that's overlaid onto the video. Well, I think that's a great tool for younger catchers to use as well. When you're catching in the bullpen or you're doing drills to put up a camera on a tripod, film the receiver, and then go back in video editing software and add the K zone so that you can see exactly what the catcher is doing. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to do that uh, using the software that I use. So I'll go ahead and jump into Final Cut Pro and I'm going to challenge myself. I'm going to try to do this in less than two minutes, but I'm going to go ahead and import uh, the footage that I need. So the footage that I need uh, for me is I have one video of a, a big league game and a receiver, and then I have the uh, strike zone overlay. So I'm going to go ahead and pull the video down here. And then I'm simply going to put the strike zone on top of it. That's a PNG file that has a clear background. So you'll see that the video, as I move forward frame by frame, is right there. Now what I want to do is just resize the, the strike zone so that it fits uh, for my video. So again, depending which software you're using, you just click the Transform tool or Resize tool, uh, put it about the size you need, and then you can reposition it uh, we'll put it close to the bottom of the strike zone. It looks like it's still a little too big. So I'll resize it a little bit more, make it a little bit smaller. And that looks pretty close. Okay, maybe not perfect, but that's going to be pretty close. Okay, and then what we'll do is I'll just drag this the length uh, that I want it. I can shorten this clip so that they match. And now there's a strike zone overlaid onto the video. So then the next thing I'll do is I will go ahead and share uh, this video. I'll export it and then I'll be able to watch it full screen and you'll notice it'll only take a second or two and then I'll be able to pull it up and watch it frame by frame. So it opens automatically on my computer. I'm going to enter full screen and then now when I start to play the video, you'll notice there's a K zone that I can use with my catcher and see where he catches it and then how he moves and manipulates the ball back to the middle of the zone. So again, maybe something that seems overwhelming at first, it's really a super easy thing to do. I'm even going to give you the PNG file of the strike zone, the K zone. Uh, it'll be in a link below in the description of this video. So that if you want to download it, you can use it and put it on top of your videos as well. Again, I use Final Cut Pro with Apple, but if you use iMovie uh, or, or the, the programs that come with Windows computers, that's fine as well too. Uh, so I hope you find this video helpful. This is definitely something I would recommend you, you start using if you're not already so that you can learn uh, and have a better idea of how you're manipulating the ball and how much you're moving it, uh, maybe from the bottom of the strike zone or east and west as well. So if you found this video helpful, I would definitely appreciate it if you would smash that thumbs up button, uh, like it, subscribe, and share it with any of your friends or someone you know that might also find it helpful as well. Thanks for watching, and I will talk to you again soon.